Дорогие друзья, как ректор Московского государственного университета имени Михаила Васильевича Ломоносова, я хотел бы сердечно поприветствовать вас на нашем Дне академической мобильности, который мы сегодня проводим для вас, наших партнеров и студентов, которые планируют приехать в Московский университет в следующем учебном году в рамках программы академической мобильности. Сейчас вы обдумываете, в какой университет хотите поехать, чтобы приобрести новые знания и умения, получить международный опыт и ощутить незабываемые положительные эмоции. И все это вы найдете в Московском университете, который по праву является крупнейшим международным университетом в России. На сегодняшний день в Московском университете учится более 10 тысяч студентов, аспирантов и стажеров из 90 стран мира. У нас подписано более двух тысяч договоров и соглашений со многими университетами, международными организациями, в рамках которых мы ведем масштабную научную и советскую работу в нашей стране и за рубежом. Проводим международные конференции, симпозиумы, обменимся ведущими учеными и студентами. Каждый наш студент имеет возможность принять участие в конкурсе и поехать на семестр обучения в один из лучших университетов мира. И, соответственно, ежегодно к нам также приезжают учиться по обмену студенты из более чем 500 университетов мира. Московский университет сегодня – это крупнейшая в России образовательная организация. Она включает в себя 41 факультет, 40 научно-исследовательских институтов и центров, 7 научных школ, 8 филиалов – в том числе шесть из них за рубежом. Совместный китайско-российский университет, десятки исторических и современных зданий и учебных корпусов, несколько кампусов, включающих всю необходимую для учебы и проживания инфраструктуру. В состав экосистемы Московского университета входят совершенно уникальные компоненты. Четыре суперкомпьютера, шесть космических спутников, ультрасовременные лаборатории и центр коллективного пользования. Они оснащены самым современным оборудованием. Сейчас мы строим свою собственную инновационную долину. Все это вместе взятое позволит нам быть не только классическим, но и инновационным университетом, лидером во многих научных и прикладных направлениях исследований. Мы по праву гордимся тем, что Московский университет – лучший университет России. На основании результатов своей научной академической мобильности, а также по отзывам студентов, выпускников и работодателей, Московский университет входит в число 100 лучших университетов в мире и в десятку лучших вузов стран Восточной Европы и Центральной Азии по всем основным мировым рейтингам. Но никакой, даже самый современный комплекс зданий и советских центров не сможет обеспечить получение хороших результатов, если в этих зданиях не будут трудиться яркие, одаренные люди, способные своим талантом и энтузиазмом создавать нечто новое, незаурядное. Человеческий потенциал Московского университета уникален. Здесь работает свыше 6 тысяч профессоров и преподавателей, более 5 тысяч научных сотрудников, обладающих высочайшей квалификацией. Ни в одном вузе России нет такого потенциала, количества ученых. И все это существует для того, чтобы наши студенты, в том числе и иностранные, могли учиться у лучших из лучших преподавателей, набираться опыта и по праву становиться отличными специалистами, знания и умения которых – востребованы во всем мире. Но чтобы мы не говорили о достижениях сегодняшнего дня, мы всегда должны помнить о том, что наши истоки лежат в прошлом. Традиции Московского университета, первого и старейшего университета России, уходят корнями в XVIII век. Он был основан в 1755 году. Учреждение университета в Москве стало возможным благодаря деятельности выдающегося ученого, энциклопедиста, первого русского академика Михаила Васильевича Ломоноса. После ознакомления с проектом нового учебного заведения, который представил граф Иван Иванович Шувалов, 
императрица Елизавета Петровна подписала 12 или 25 по новому стилю января 1755 года указ об основании Московского университета. Этот день совпадает с днем почитания святой Татьяны по православному календарю. И вот сегодня, 25 января, отмечается как день российского студенчества. Татьянин день. А для Московского университета это день рождения, который знаменуется широкими празднованиями, к которым вы сможете присоединиться, если приедете к нам на весенний семестр. Во все времена и эпохи Московский университет всегда был на передовой научной мысли, был родоначальником прорывных исследований и технологий. Очень сильное направление в Московском университете – это науки о живых системах, биологические науки, медицина. Это то, что связано с будущим человечества. Мы обладаем мощнейшим медицинским научно-образовательным центром. Это уникальный медицинский центр со стационаром, исследовательскими лабораториями, один из лучших в Москве. Мы ведем исследования по многим проектам, аналогов которых нет в мире. Например, мы реализуем проект «Ноев Ковчег», создаем банк данных депозитарий биологического разнообразия Земли. У нас колоссальные успехи, более миллиона образцов мы уже отправили на хранение. Опубликовано около тысячи статей. Мы открыли 250 новых видов живых существ, которые не были зафиксированы ранее на Земле. Огромный проект, в котором на ежегодной основе трудится почти 300 человек. Это наш проект «Ноев Ковчег». Мы обладаем суперкомпьютером «Ломоносов-2». Это самый мощный суперкомпьютер в нашей стране и один из крупнейших в мире. Действует на базе университета. На нем работают студенты и аспиранты. Около 600 учреждений страны решают здесь свои задачи, которые в том числе требуют обработки колоссальных массивов Big Data. Московский университет обладает уникальной системой астрономических баз. Одна из них – это Кавказская горная обсерватория в Карачаево-Черкесии с уникальным телескопом, лучшим в России. Мы запускаем спутники. Московский университет построил и запустил шесть космических спутников. И на слайде мы видим запуск спутника Ломоносов с космодрома Восточный. Вот этим запуском руководил президент нашей страны Владимир Владимирович Путин. Все это говорит об огромном потенциале Московского университета. Задачи, которые ставятся для работы со спутником наравне с учеными, формулируют наши студенты и аспиранты. Совсем недавно Московский университет впервые предложил в программе своего развития до 30-го года создание научно-образовательных школ. Это организация в структуре Московского университета, которая работает по прорывным научным направлениям и берутся за решение самых актуальных задач, которые сейчас волнуют весь мир. Перечень названий школ говорит сам за себя. Это и космос, и гуманитарное направление, школа сохранения мирового культурно-исторического наследия. Это и мозг, когнитивные системы, искусственный интеллект, инновации в синтетической биологии, вообще в медицине. Это и фотоника, и, конечно, окружающая среда, будущее нашей планеты, сохранение экологического равновесия. Наши школы уже начали работать. В этих школах объединились более полутора тысяч ученых, в том числе много аспирантов, творческой талантливой молодежи. И вы, когда приедете в Московский университет в следующем учебном году, также сможете познакомиться с нашими научно-образовательными школами. Возможно даже выбрать для себя какие-нибудь курсы. Московский университет располагает высокоразвитой инфраструктурой. Более тысячи различных сооружений расположены на территории свыше 1200 квадратных метров. Мы обладаем уникальной библиотекой, которой в России только одна больше. Это наша библиотека вторая. На нашей территории много спортивных объектов, стадионы, теннисные корты. Вы сможете заниматься своим любимым видом спорта, гулять в нашем ботаническом саду. 
Московский университет всячески поощряет, чтобы ребята укрепляли свое здоровье и заботились о нем. Учеба в Московском государственном университете открывает для вас уникальные возможности развития практически во всех сферах деятельности, дает стимулы для раскрытия вашего научно-исследовательского потенциала. Например, обучаясь в Московском университете, вы можете принять участие в мероприятиях Международного союза молодых ученых, международных научных форумах, в нашем уникальном фестивале науки. Уникальность Московского университета также стоит в предоставлении студентам возможности развиваться всесторонне и многогранно. Около 10 лет назад я выступил с инициативой создания межфакультетских учебных курсов. Обучаясь на одном из наших факультетов, вы также сможете посещать лекции ведущих профессоров и преподавателей других факультетов, развивая свой кругозор, интеллектуальный потенциал. Мы верим, что только всесторонне развитый юридированный человек может быть творческой личностью, способной созидать новое. В Московском университете созданы возможности не только для учебы и занятия научной деятельностью, но и для реализации своих творческих спортивных талантов. Под эгидой культурного центра работают вокальные, музыкальные, хореографические, театральные коллективы, студии, которые приглашают вас присоединиться к ним. Ребята проводят творческие вечера, конкурсы, организуют концерты. Они являются инициаторами и организаторами студенческих празднований. Например, дня рождения Московского университета, Масленицы, чествования значимых для российской истории и культуры дат. Например, День нашей Победы. У нас хорошо развито волонтерское движение. Наши волонтеры инициируют и принимают участие во многих значимых социальных проектах. И мы этим гордимся. Большую роль в организации и проведении всех этих мероприятий играют наши студенческие организации, которые также приглашают вас, иностранных ребят, присоединиться к их деятельности и стать частью новых интересных творческих проектов. В рамках мероприятий адаптационной недели, которые специально для вновь приезжающих иностранных студентов проводит университет, вы сможете получить подробную информацию о студенческой жизни в Московском университете и выбрать для себя дело по душе. Московский университет добился больших успехов в том, чтобы стать полноценным, признанным в мире пространством для развития академического, образовательного, научного, культурного, спортивного сотрудничества молодежи разных стран. Ежегодно мы проводим более 10 крупных международных форумов с участием ведущих университетов разных стран. В том числе мы проводим студенческие форумы. К нам приезжают лучшие студенты со всей планеты для того, чтобы обменяться мнениями о будущем, обсудить те вопросы, которые волнуют современную молодежь. И мы считаем, что это очень важно. Ведь только все вместе, рука об руку, мы сохраним этот хрупкий, как показали события этого года, мир, подверженный глобальным угрозам. Только все вместе, слыша и понимая друг друга, общими усилиями мы сможем сделать этот мир лучше. Мы приглашаем вас присоединиться к этим международным проектам, внести свой вклад в развитие этой традиции. Подытожив все сказанное, я хочу сказать, что выбирая Московский университет, вы открываете для себя многогранные возможности для приобретения новых знаний, открытия новых горизонтов развития, совершенствования личностного роста, получения ярких эмоций и приобретения новых друзей, которые останутся с вами на всю жизнь. Дорогие ребята! Мы хотим пожелать вам, чтобы период вашего обучения в Московском университете стал для вас поистине забываемым, наполненным радостью, новыми открытиями, профессиональными личными достижениями. Добро пожаловать в международную семью Московского университета. До новых встреч в Московском университете в следующем учебном году. Спасибо. Many thanks uh, for very interesting introduction of uh, Lomonosov Moscow State University. 
let me please uh, share with you uh, my presentation and uh, continue uh, with uh, uh, introduction of brief introduction of today's session and explaining you their gender. Uh, today, uh, we want to give you all uh, the most important information which you need to comfortably come to Moscow State University when you will uh, become an exchange students with us. Uh, first, uh, I will explain your their uh, organization of study process at Moscow State University. Then uh, I will remind you about the requirements uh, which you have to meet uh, to apply and uh, to come to Moscow State University for academic, to academic mobility. Then I will provide the checklist of most important issues to remember uh, before, during and after the academic mobility program. And uh, then we will conclude with uh, some practical issues related to well-being, explain you the support system which we introduced in Moscow State University. After that, uh, colleagues, my colleagues from uh, faculties introduce uh, the study opportunities which they have at their faculties. And uh, you will be able to listen and decide uh, on which academic exchange program you want to go. After that, uh, our students uh, from uh, Student Support Center, uh, they will explain their body system and give you some an understanding of uh, their student life at Moscow State University. And at the very end, we will answer all your questions. But before we start, let me show you a video uh, specially created for you uh, for today's meeting by our current students who really wanted you to plunge into the atmosphere of Moscow State University. Be very glad to welcome you to Moscow State University. So, uh, who has the right to come to us for academic mobility? 
Of course, we are waiting for exchange students who fall under bilateral exchange agreements with our partner universities. We also accept visiting students who come to Moscow under interstate or other agreements, according to which we understand undertake to accept foreign students for academic mobility. We also have free movers. Visiting students, as a rule, come to us on a paid basis. You are eligible to choose a total number of courses equivalent to 1530 ECTS per semester and stay with us for one or two semesters. You will need uh, to buy insurance, um, medical insurance, uh, which will cover treatment within Russia. And I'll talk about this later. During your study with us, uh, you will be able to take courses in Russian, in English, and in some cases in Chinese. Uh, you can find all the information you need on our portal for international exchange students, a uh, link to it, uh, which you can see on this slide. So, uh, how MSU implements classes uh, during this semester and how we plan to implement them during the next semester. Currently, seminars and practical classes, like if you're working in laboratories, uh, they are conducted in physical presence. Of course, uh, with observing all precautions related to preventing the spread of coronavirus. Uh, you can see examples on the screen. Lectures uh, where more than 50 students uh, participate, we uh, conduct online. Uh, we uh, assume that the same mode will continue in the last semester, uh, in the next semester. So we really wait for you to come in physical presence and stay with us and uh, learn with our students in classes. Uh, during their uh, rector's address, you've heard about Maslinitsa. Uh, these are the pictures taken just a couple of days ago on March 11th, and you see, so we are back to life. And actually, this is a celebration of Maslinitsa. This is our Russian historical tradition. Uh, actually, we celebrate this during the whole week, and their uh, main issue of that is uh, to bake pancakes and treat uh, our uh, people uh, with whom we want to share our best wishes and wish uh, success and good luck. So actually, uh, Moscow State University, and you can see this in the bottom uh, of the slide, it's full of life and full of students currently, and really wish you to come here and share with us all the best experiences that we uh, uh, live through here. What are the dates and deadlines, uh, important dates and deadlines that's, uh, that's important for you to remember? We are inviting you to come uh, for the next autumn semester and application deadline for you uh, when you will have to fill online application form, the uh, QR code uh, to ac access this online application form and then load your documents you can see on the slide. The deadline is uh, April 30th. Uh, study period of uh, autumn semester is from September 1st till January 24th. Uh, and our winter exam session is January 3rd to January 24th. I want to point out that uh, some master's programs, they have their own schedule. Uh, which is connected with the specifics of the study field. And some of the master's programs, they uh, finish at the end of December. So please decide on the faculty you want to join, decide on the program you want to be part of and consult with coordinators to find out the exact date of uh, the end of the study semester. Of course, you can stay with us for the whole year. In this case, you can see on the screen uh, their requirements 
for um, uh, the, the study period in the spring semester and the uh, application deadline if you wish to come to us in this next spring semester. Choice of disciplines. How would you decide and how would you select the disciplines that you will study? As a rule, you are hosted at Moscow State University by one of faculty that specializes in your field of study. Uh, for some fields of study, we have even few faculties uh, that uh, provide disciplines, courses, teach courses that may match with your, uh, the, with your curriculum. It's recommended that you choose courses at the main faculty that will host you. Also, if necessary, you may consider supplementing those courses offered by your faculty by other courses offered by another faculty. Uh, please check the grading system with your faculty because uh, from faculty to faculty, depending on their uh, field of specializations, we have some variations in the grading system. In some uh, faculties, uh, more marks you will deserve for practical work, uh, in some for research work, in some uh, for, uh, for some information uh, you consider and put in practice uh, information which you learned during the lectures. So check the grading system with your faculty. Uh, for international students coming to us, courses in the study of the Russian language is offered so you will be able to improve your Russian language. Also, you will be able to find more uh, of that information on our website and also in contact with coordinator of your academic mobility program. But uh, to decide on the selection of courses at Moscow State University, please always remember to check the selection of courses with your coordinator at your sending university. Here on the slide, uh, you can see the QR code, which will take you to the course catalog. Uh, it's organized by faculty. So please browse it through, decide uh, which courses match uh, to your curricular and decide which faculty would presumably be your host faculty. Here on that slide, I wanted to give you some examples of summer schools. Uh, that summer schools were uh, run in the past. And uh, we gave some examples of, for example, online uh, summer school, which was organized uh, last summer, uh, summer 2020, difficult year uh, by faculty of mechanics and mathematics. Uh, they always conduct uh, their uh, summer school. Uh, before 2020, of course, it was in physical presence, it was in summer. Uh, another very interesting uh, way of getting new experience, new practice, uh, there's to join our field research. Uh, here on the right side of the slide, you can see the example of the summer school offered by the faculty of geology so that's a uh, real life uh, expeditions uh, which take place in different regions of russia and uh, we are waiting currently uh, for the permission to continue with these uh, expeditions in this year but we are looking very positively on uh, that experience as well so uh please watch our announcements uh look at uh, our website and uh find opportunities uh to join our summer schools eligibility who is eligible uh to come uh for uh to moscow state university as an exchange student or visiting student what requirements you have to meet um minimum um uh, average mark um, should be 3.0 on 4.0 on point scale or the equivalent. To take courses in English, it's necessary to have English language proficiency level equivalent to IELTS 6.0.
for non-native English speakers. If you are no, if you are native English speaker, you will not uh, have to prove uh, the competence in English. To take subject courses in Russian, uh, which of course you are allowed to take, uh, you have to prove uh, their level of uh, your proficiency in Russian and uh, the examples uh, of their tests, which you can take, you can see on the screen. Uh, to study Russian language, uh, you can be at the very basic level of Russian. And if you are taking courses in English, uh, you will be able to improve your Russian. Documents for students to apply. Here on the screen, you see the list uh, of um, documents you will have to download uh, into the application system. That's a photocopy of passport. Uh, please pay attention that your passport should be valid, uh, valid for not less than 18 months uh, before uh, uh, from the date of the planned entry into Russia. So after entering Russian uh, Federation, it should be valid for one and a half years. Uh, your passport should contain minimum four pages uh, for passing the visa and entry and exit stamps. If uh, there are no sufficient uh, room in your passport, please consider applying for a new one. Motivation letter, maximum two pages written in Russian or in English. Your curriculum vita, uh, official transcript of academic records uh, for the courses which you studied so far. So of course you will not have courses uh, which you are taking this semester, but uh, for the courses which you learned already. Recommendation letter and Russian language certificate if you plan to take courses in Russian. Uh, using this QR code, uh, you will be able to access uh, their space in our online portal to get more information on how to prepare documents to download them to the system. Just for you to remind uh, that uh, students nominated by our, by our partner universities, you are not going through any competition. So we just require your documents to process your placement with a, an appropriate faculty. For students who are coming as uh, free movers, uh, formally you are passing through the competition for places available for free movers. So in that case, uh, the accurate preparation of the documents is particularly important. Here is uh, the algorithm of your actions uh, to become an academic mobility student at Moscow State University. So first, you have to be nominated by your home university, or at least if you are a free mover, we want to see the approval from your home university and like a permission for you to come and study with us. Then you will have to fill in online applications and upload your documents. Then uh, please wait for a while because we will come back to you uh, and you will receive approval from Moscow State University coordinator that uh, the particular faculty is ready to host you. Um, we will decide with you which faculty uh, suits you best and uh, we will confirm that this faculty is ready to receive you. Then we will be expecting to get confirmation uh, from your side, confirmation of readiness for coming and uh, notification of planned arrival dates. That's important because we will start uh, processing your visa invitation. So um, after deciding on the arrival dates, dates of travel, please think about your accommodation. Uh, you will have to reserve to book accommodation and uh, please contact our coordinators and uh, ask them, check with them whether you can rent a room at Moscow State University dormitory. Usually the answer is positive, but you have to do this as soon as possible. Then you will receive a visa invitation. After that, you will have to apply for a visa in your country and uh, obtain a visa and buy our tickets. That's important information. 
that's absolutely necessary for you to travel to Moscow, to fly to Moscow, to take COVID-19 test no earlier than 72 hours before departure. Without these uh, negative results of that test, you will not be allowed to enter the flight. Uh, you do not have to have any certificate um, of any medical treatment against uh, COVID-19, so test is enough. And then you will arrive. Before mobility checklist, uh, at least three months before arrival, you will have to confirm to Moscow State Coordinator when you will arrive and also confirm uh, exactly at which place uh, you will be applying for a visa. That's important because a uh, visa application uh, is prepared, a uh, visa invitation is prepared specifically for the place uh, which you uh, mentioned in, in your questionnaire, in your uh, online questionnaire. Uh, the majority of international students enter Russia with a foreign passport and a study visa. So study visa is not required just for few uh, students uh, coming to Russia uh, from the Republic of Azerbaijan, the Republic of Abkhazia, the Republic of South Ossetia, the Republic of Belarus, the Republic of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyz Republic, Republic of Moldova, uh, Tajikistan, Republic of Ukraine, the Republic of Armenia, Republic of Uzbekistan. For other students, visa is required, so please make sure you apply for a visa no uh, later uh, than uh, one, uh, than actually uh, one and a half months before departure. Um, beside an accommodation, find yourself a body. We will be talking a lot today about body system, so we will learn how it works, specifically at Moscow State University. Buy health insurance online before you leave. We recommend to buy health insurance from Russian companies because they cover most of the uh, important uh, treatment which you might have to have in Russia according to the Russian law. Uh, if you have international medical insurance, it might not cover all the necessary issues. Uh, for example, medical insurance from the recommended uh, insurance companies, Russian insurance companies, uh, they cover uh, COVID test, which you will have to pass and, uh, after your arrival at Moscow. Uh, send to our coordinators your travel details, exact travel details, where you, you arrive, at what date, uh, when you arrive, and also pass this information to your body. Take a COVID test uh, by a PCR method, as I explained, and prepare your Visa or MasterCard with dollars and euros on it. If you are worrying, you can have some rubbles, uh, but actually um, you will be able to use your cards, uh, bank cards, to withdraw rubles at the airport. All cash payments within Russia are made in rubles only, but you will or usually be able to pay everywhere by your card, even if it's in dollars and euros, but probably not to the taxi. So do not worry about um, exchanging money in your country, come here and you will be able to exchange at the airport. Here on the slide, you can see the QR code um, using by using which uh, you can find more detailed information about health insurance. And but in particular, you will be able to find uh, the requirements to the health insurance. So uh, what it should cover, please study it carefully. On mobility checklist, collect uh, your free migration card when entering the Russian Federation. Usually it's given to people who enter Russia uh, by definition, so everyone is given, just make sure you get one. And please make sure you keep it in a safe place and do not uh, get lost. After arrival, you will have to self as a lead according to the current rules and regulations just for a few days until you get a second negative test for COVID-19. 
uh, the recommended companies, which you will find on our website, uh, will send you a doctor to, for example, a dorm, a dormitory, to collect material for test. So you will not have to get out from your place where you reside to uh, pass uh, their, the test. Without this negative, second negative test, you will not be allowed to come into classes and join the students for studying in physical presence. Self-isolation usually takes three, five days, not more, because that's sufficient. Uh, if you will live and miss your dormitory, uh, then you will go through isolation there. Within three working days after entering Russia, you must be registered at the immigration service at the place of your accommodation. So if you are not living at Moscow State University dormitory, you will have to talk with your host uh, for, for the horse to register you. That's very important because the penalty for not uh, meeting that requirement is extremely high. Uh, follow the instructions from the Moscow State University coordinators and they will explain you how to deal with their issue. And also your body may also recommend you what to do to do everything right. Always carry with you a copy of your passport, registration form, migration card, and student card. Example of student card you can see on the screen. We will issue a student card to you and you will be a student in Moscow. Attend orientation session. That's important. Uh, to attend the orientation session, you will have to arrive to Moscow a few days before the actual start of the semester. So, for example, if the semester starts on September 1st, uh, you are recommended to come to Moscow on something like 25th or 26th of August to uh, adjust now uh, to the place where you will live uh, past this self-isolation period and make sure that you get all documents right and then you will be uh, able to study from the first of september uh, our uh, orientation sessions uh, they will take place usually like on 28th or 29th of august uh, check again that all the selected courses are available to you after immediate start of your study during the first, uh, the second, it's the latest uh, uh, week of study. Please make sure that your uh, study plan is set and you know exactly which disciplines you will take. You will be issued a single study uh, visa valid for 90 days that's for everyone so that's a requirement if you're entering russia on a visa it's going to be a single entry study visa if your actual study period is longer than 90 days you will need to extend your visa and registration our coordinators will help you with that finishing mobility checklist at the end of your uh, academic mobility period, please contact the international office closer to the end of your academic mobility per period. Contact the international office of your faculty and inform them that uh, you are decided and actually you have to pass certain exams, exams on the courses which you've taken. Check exam dates that's important please make sure that you didn't buy tickets for departure to your home country on the dates that are before the exams you are not allowed to take exams distantly we will look uh, and we will see how the next semester will be organized but i already mentioned that we are planning to organize this in physical presence so all the exams will be organized in physical presence Ask your coordinator at the faculty to prepare a transcript of records and make sure you understand how and when uh, you and your host university will receive it. And of course, we will be glad if you will leave a feedback on your stay at Moscow State University and share photos of the most unforgettable moments. Accommodation. I mentioned that uh, students coming to us for mobility, uh, they can apply for uh, getting accommodation at Moscow State University dormitories. 
students coming on uh, inter-university uh, agreements, they usually stay in the main building, uh, which you can see on the screen. Um, here in that building, uh, most of the students, they pass self-isolation and there's another building, um, MSU dormitory, which you can also find as a place uh, to, to, set, to settle. Uh, working distance uh, from those dormitories uh, to uh, Moscow State University to the campuses where you will have classes uh, is usually less than uh, 15 uh, minutes, L less working distance, less, less than 13 minutes, or that's uh, no more than 30 minutes by public transport. So everything is very conveniently and closely located. About the price. Uh, the price varies uh, from 10 to 20,000 rubles per month, depending on living conditions and depending on a particular uh, dormitory campus where you will live. Uh, so contact Moscow State University coordinator to check dormitory availability and do this as soon as possible. This QR code will lead you to the page where information about accommodation is located. Student social card, another hint. Uh, as a student at Moscow State University, you are eligible to have a student social card. It gives you discount for travel on public transport and can be used as a travel card. Uh, you will just uh, pop up it and uh, it can be used as a bank card also. And it also gives you the right to receive discounts in stores, uh, enterprises, in museums, and so on, so far. Usually it takes about 30 days to receive. So upon your arrival, you will have to apply, and it takes about 30 days to get it. Your body will help you to take all the necessary steps to obtain it, and your body will instruct you how to get it. Support system. How we support you and where from you can find um, help and assistance. Uh, here I provided you with the QR codes which lead you to important phone numbers, contact emails, and so on and so forth. Uh, of course, you can uh, apply to the Department for Internationalization Development. Um, you can contact uh, your faculty coordinators as soon as you will know which faculty will host you. Uh, please uh, uh, visit our online portal for international students. There are plenty of important and useful information there. And also you will be able to find our email addresses by sending information to which uh, you will get reply on most important questions and we will try to do this as soon as possible. And of course, uh, you will be using our body system and our student organizations will help you. About body system and student organizations, we'll have a special session after the meeting with our faculties. Please stay with us till the end and you will learn a lot of interesting uh, information and details about how our students live in Moscow State University. So, actually, what educational opportunities can our faculties offer to you? Now, I am pleased to give the floor, or now, as we say, to give the screen to my colleague to run the session, to moderate the session with faculties. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Um, I'm staying uh, with you and I'm giving the floor to my colleague, Olga Merkusha. Um, hello, dear students. I'm very happy to be here with you today. I'm uh, the Deputy uh, Vice Rector at uh, the Department for Internationalization Development at Lomonosov Moscow State University. And uh, now I will share my screen and introduce the faculties that will uh, present their exchange programs today. So our first speaker is 
uh, Dr. Natalia Slaiva, Vice Dean for International Affairs at the Faculty of World Politics. Faculty of World Politics is a truly international faculty. It offers a lot of courses for exchange students and is very popular among our exchange students from different countries. Uh, so, Natalia, the floor is yours. Um, and um, please uh, show your presentation to us. So, Olga, thank you very much for giving, the, for giving me the floor. So, dear colleagues and dear students, it's a great pleasure on behalf of School of World Politics to welcome you today at this virtual plot platform of Lomonosov Moscow State University Open Day for Exchange Students. And it's my great pleasure to give you some essential information about academic research and extracurricular activities that you will be able to enjoy once you become exchange students with us, School of World Politics of Lomonosov Moscow State University. So let us begin. Um, the School of World Politics provides um, training for Russian and foreign students in international relations covering bachelor, master and postgraduate programs. The school was established in 2003 with the support of the Russian Federation President Vladimir Putin and since then the school has really established itself as a reputable institution within Moscow State University. Currently, the president of the school is Leonid Eduardovich Slutsky, a well-recognized and outstanding uh, politician in the Russian Federation, the chairman of the Russian Federation State Duma on International Affairs. The dean of the school is Andrei Anatolievich Sidorov, uh, an associate professor, a candidate of historic sciences. Currently, the school claims to welcome more than 1,000 students and professors. And we are very proud to say that over 200 international students represent more than 30 countries around the globe thus making our school really a vibrant environment uh, where you can contribute internationally and where uh, you will just provide your own international twist once you join us. So as for uh, the main areas of our academic and research activities, our education at our school is based on interdisciplinary integrated approach to a study of a wide range of world political issues covering all levels from national regional to international and dealing with the most topical and acute issues of today's world agenda so our students study international security the processes of integration and co cooperation so up to public diplomacy international communications etc once you become a bachelor exchange student with us you will be able to join one of our chairs which will give you a more focused preparation in a certain realm of international relations you can choose among the Chair of International Security, Chair of International Organizations and World Political Processes. Those interested in regional studies can join a relevant chair with us. Those who are more interested in information and communications are heartily welcome to join the Chair of Information Support for Foreign Policy. 
if you're a master student who would like to do a term or year abroad program with us, we would heartily welcome you at one of our master programs. Namely, you have five options to choose from. A master program in international security will be interesting for those who would like to specialize in all possible uh, uh, areas uh, which deal with threats and challenges of today's uh, world. So also you will be to, uh, able to join a master program in regional issues of international relations or international strategic communications program, which is a collaborative project with us, with our partner university, University of Lorraine, so um, located in France. And we are very glad also uh, to encourage you to join us our new program in economic diplomacy that has already attracted the first uh, cohort of students joining us in uh, 2020. Uh, however, whatever program you would want to join with us, we will provide you an opportunity to attend modules and disciplines provided by other chairs as well, as we strongly believe in interdisciplinary and integrated approach uh, to our studies, to studies with us. Um, another feature of School of World Politics that I want to specify is an extensive foreign languages training that we provide at our school. And you will be able to choose from a variety of foreign languages covering Western and Oriental uh, foreign languages. And being an international student with us, you will be able so to, to do Russian studies as well. And coming to something what students are greatly attracted by and with, extracurricular activities, we are very happy just to share with you our experience and I believe that students themselves have a better say here and it's my great pleasure to introduce my colleague Valeria Bordakova to you. She's a student in year four currently and last year she was nominated to do an exchange program herself with one of our partner universities in Switzerland. So Valeria is more than happy and enthusiastic to welcome you, our dear friends, now at School of World Politics once you make your choice. So Valeria. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Natalia Vladimirovna, for introducing me. Uh, and we will be well, we will be pleased to welcome you at our faculty. And in fact, um, that School of World Politics has a lot of different student organizations, and probably one of the most important for you, namely, uh, is uh, Friendship Volunteer Club, um, that organizes different cultural events from festivals trips even to Moscow's forums should be feel free to join um, as well as that um, you may also take part in different contests festivals and quizzes that are created by different uh, different language clubs um, and then just make new friends, try out try your Russian and just have fun. Um, and beyond that, also MCU provides to students a wide selection of sports sections, which are also while studying in our faculty. And finally, our faculty have paper that is concerned with the issue at, at the website of our faculty or in our week contact page. And feel free to try yourself as a real journalist. So thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Valeria, very much. So you, you see that you have multiple options to enjoy your extracurricular activities with us as well. So joining either a volunteer club, a student organization, language clubs, so all different conferences, forums, roundtable discussions, festivals that we all arrange for our students on a regular basis. 
So we are more than happy to welcome you and to encourage you to join us at School of World Politics. And please don't hesitate to contact us, whatever. So you would like to know more. And um, I'm glad to introduce um, to introduce my colleague Karolina Utkina and myself, Natalia Silaiva, and we will be very happy if you join us and if you contribute to our international environment. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Natalia and Valeria, for introduction of your faculty. I think it's a great opportunity for exchange students who specialize in international relations to go to study at the Faculty of World Politics. Uh, and, um, uh, let me uh, introduce our next speaker. Um, this Faculty of History and Professor Olga Gazmina, Vice Dean for International Affairs. Uh, so we are waiting for Olga to join our session. Faculty of History is one of the most traditional faculties of Lomonosov Moscow State University with many different programs, and it is uh, very popular with our exchange students from all over the world. I know that a lot of students come to study Asian history, a lot of students come to study specifically history of Russia. Uh, so it will be a great opportunity for you if you specialize in history. Um, so I'm stopping my demonstration. And uh, Olga is joining us right away. Hello, Olga. Uh, please. Uh... Hello. Hello. Hello, Olga. Hello. Yes, we hear you very well, and we see your presentation. Great. Okay. Okay, Olga. Thank you for introducing me. And uh, today it is really my pleasure. I'm really happy. Uh, to greet you on behalf of the uh, Faculty of History. So oh, I'm sorry for this glitch. So uh, what is Faculty of History of Moscow State University? Uh, who are we? We are one of the oldest faculties at Moscow University. History has been taught at Moscow University from the very beginning. Department of History was established already in 1755, then within the Faculty of Philosophy. Later on, we became a separate faculty. So we are old, but at the same time, we are modern. Uh, the Faculty of History is a dynamically developing modern educational and academic center, a recognized flagship of the Russian education in humanities. You can study at our faculty history, art history, archaeology, ethnology, political science, and international relations. Our faculty is marked by the holistic and universalistic approaches in covering historical reality, both geographically and chronologically. So when you make your individual plan, you can pick both very general courses and very specialized ones. We have 18 departments where over 300 scholars work combining teaching and um, research. You can see, see you can see here very diverse specialization offered by the Faculty of History. 
we have 18 departments. These are Department of Russian History until the beginning of the 19th century. Department of Russian History of the 19th, early 20th century. Department of Russian History of the 20th, 21st century. So if you want to study Russian history, which is obvious for most in international exchange students, you can be focused on a specific period of our history. Also, we have a department of source studies, department of ancient history, histo history of the Middle Ages, department of modern and contemporary history, department of history of the South and West Slab. So within the uh, faculty of history, you can study both Russian history and world history. But in addition to this, you can be uh, focusing on studying archaeology and ethnology. We have uh, those departments as well. You can study church history, history of near broad countries. Uh, we have a subdivision uh, for studying art. We have two departments, Department of the Russian Art History and Department of General Art History. The faculty offer, offers solid language training regardless of the specialization in such and such department. And all students and uh, exchange students included can study both modern languages and ancient languages if they are necessary for their specialization. And we provide also computer science and uh, we have Department of Historical Informa Informatics, which provides both uh, computer science courses and specialized courses uh, using computer methods in studying history. The signature of the Faculty of History is to combine teaching and research. And that is why, in addition to 18 departments, we also have laboratories and research centers. And you can see uh, them on this screen. These are laboratory of history of culture, laboratory of history of diasporas and migration, laboratory of applied technology, center for the study of economic history, interdepartmental archaeographical archeogra laboratory, laboratory of the history of Byzantium and Black Sea region in the Middle Ages, and laboratory of modern and contemporary history of the countries of Europe and America. Uh, we hold conferences, seminars, workshops at the Faculty of History, and all those events, of course, will be available to you as well. Publishing activity is uh, very solid at the Faculty of History, and uh, when you are students at the faculty, you'll be able to um, get more familiar with those uh, publications and their courses. <laughs> Unique special courses. It means that we have, in, in addition to very general uh, specialization, fundamental specialization, we have a also a narrow specialization on certain issues and certain problems. So when you make your individual plan, you, you can pick very narrow, very special courses on Russian history, Russian art history, archaeology, ethnology, and all the uh, variety of uh, topics uh, provided at the faculty. Some international students prefer to join our fieldwork, archaeological and ethnological expeditions, uh, which are uh, required for our permanent students and which are available, which are open to our exchange students. So what are main outcomes 
for international students and researchers visiting the uh, Faculty of History. I think that the possibilities are pretty wide, and they include attending unique courses on Russian history, Russian art history, and other fields given by the leading professors and experts in history, archaeology, and ethnology. Working with the leading experts and professors in specific fields of history, archaeology, and ethnology. Doing research in archives, libraries, and museums in Moscow. Participating in archaeological and ethnological fieldwork. And you'll be doing all these under supervision of leading professors, leading uh, experts. Every exchange student has an advisor, a personal advisor, while on the Faculty of History. And of course, it is establishing new academic contacts, creating a unique networking, finding new friends, and participating in extracurriculum activities, which are very wide in the Faculty of History, and include uh, concerts, sport events, and excursions, and many, many other things. And of course, uh, studying at the Faculty of History, most of our courses are in Russian. So studying at our faculty, you'll be advancing your Russian language skills. We are really very much looking forward to seeing you at the Faculty of History of Lomonosov Moscow State University. I really hope to see you very soon with us at our faculty. And of course, you can always contact us here on the screen. You can see our email address, our website, and our phone number. See you soon, really. Goodbye and see you soon. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Olga, for your very energetic presentation of your faculty. I think all our students already want to join the uh, Faculty of History, especially those, of course, who specialize in uh, history and want to join one of your chairs. And uh, uh, now I'm moving to our next speaker. Um, and uh, this is uh, the uh, Faculty of Philosophy. Uh, Faculty of Philosophy is one of the three faculties that were established from the beginning of uh, the history of Lomonosov Moscow State University in 1755. So a uh, faculty has a very rich history, deep traditions, but it's also very modern at the same time. And I'm happy to give the floor to our next speaker, uh, Anna Kostikova, Vice Dean for International Relations of the Faculty of Philosophy, uh, who will uh, tell about the opportunities for exchange students at that faculty. Uh, please. Anna, floor is yours. Yes, uh, I'm trying to share the presentation. Oh, yes. So, uh, thank you uh, very much. Everybody see my presentation? It's okay? Not yet. Um, if Not you experience yet. problems, uh, I can uh, show your presentation. That's also possible. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'll try to show everything my, by myself. So, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, just a minute. So, uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So, it's okay. 
Yes, great. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we are always uh, a little bit nervous about all technical uh, details, uh, but finally, uh, welcome to the Moscow uh, State University uh, to the Faculty of Philosophy. And uh, you can see the same building we chair it uh, with um, uh, our, the Faculty of History and some others. It's Chwalovsky building, a quite new uh, uh, home for us. And uh, I'd like to uh, underline that uh, philosophy is uh, ranking in the top of 50 best university in philosophy. Uh, and we are uh, at the fourth place right now. Uh, this year, and um, uh, we are uh, uh, really uh, the latest uh, because uh, we are uh, from uh, the moment uh, of uh, uh, the founding uh, of the university by Lomonosov um, uh, with uh, law and medicine. And uh, then uh, we contribute greatly to all humanities, uh, history, psychology, psychology, political sciences. And uh, right now, uh, we are really huge for faculty of philosophy. Uh, we have 16 departments. I'll mention it uh, a little bit uh, later. Oh, we have uh, more than 240 uh, staff, uh, all uh, PhD state professors, and we have a lot of students, uh, wonderful, uh, on BA and in MA program, uh, and uh, on PhD program. Uh, so it's uh, about 1,000 of philosophers at Moscow State University. Uh, it's something because uh, normally uh, faculties of philosophy are very small. And uh, here I'd like uh, to mention all departments that we have because uh, we can see uh, all fields of philosophical knowledge uh, here. Ontology, epistemology, methodology of science, history of uh, world philosophy, of course, history of Russian philosophy, welcome especially for courses in Russian philosophy, history and theory of world culture, social philosophy, philosophical anthropology, ethics, aesthetics, uh, philosophy of law and politics, philosophy of education, philosophy of language and communication, religious studies, logics and philosophy in humanities, philosophy in natural sciences. Philosophy is uh, overhaul of faculties uh, at Moscow State. So we try to uh, make a really uh, abstract conceptual uh, knowledge uh, to every one alumni at the university. And of course, uh, our first division is philosophy. Uh, unfortunately, we lost our uh, dean, corresponding member, Professor Vladimir Vasilyevich Mironov, uh, uh, two months ago. Uh, we have also uh, an applied uh, division advertising and public relations uh, because uh, we are sure that uh, we have to uh, educate about sense uh, and uh, uh, about uh, concepts, uh, all the supplied uh, disciplines. Uh, we have also religious studies is um, division and uh, cultural studies uh, specialized on pragmatics and management. Uh, so uh, we have different practical uh, skills to propose uh, to all our students and for exchange students uh, as well. Uh, and it could be not only governmental structure, uh, media, uh, but also um, practice in archives, uh, museums, uh, and uh, different business structure. So everywhere where uh, analytics uh, is in need. Uh, so we have also short-term programs. Of course, they are in Russian. Uh, 
uh, here you can say only some parts uh, that that we have and um, really uh, it's uh, maybe for interest for our foreign colleagues that we have uh, MBA in fashion and art. Uh, different short terms, uh, one month, two months, uh, uh, programs uh, that uh, could be converted uh, in English uh, if uh, it asks. And of course, I'd like to present uh, quite new MA programs that will open only this September. Uh, that's uh, a uh, quite new, quite uh, interesting research group that uh, were um, installed through all over uh, the university um, in collaboration between different faculties. And we have two groups at our faculty. It's uh, with the uh, historian preservation of the world cultural and historical heritage and inside this research group, uh, we are preparing two AMA programs, uh, social issues of contemporary culture and modeling the future and digital culture and practices. And another research group with uh, psychologists, biologists, uh, neuro cognitive scientists, uh, it's brain, cognitive system and artificial intelligence. And here we'll propose an MA program, Experimental Philosophy and Cognitive Sciences. Uh, we'll begin uh, with courses in Russian. Uh, of course, on all our MA program, we have some uh, in English. Uh, but uh, I uh, hope that uh, most of our, um, our visitors uh, will improve their Russian um, to apply uh, to this uh, really new innovative program uh, because uh, really our philosophical community is an incredible incubator of change and innovation as the university is a whole academic uh, community uh, and uh, as well we receive visitor professors it's uh, only uh, one part uh, of uh, those who collaborate with the faculty, uh, who are lecturing at the faculty, and some uh, of them made um, a bilingual uh, edition of their lec lecture. Um, so it's uh, a wonderful collaboration uh, that are inserted in the uh, research and plans of uh, different uh, research center and laboratories that we have. Uh, it's uh, a center for contemporary Marxist studies, finally, because we have no department uh, three hundred three. Uh, 30 years uh, almost, but um, uh, on uh, some specifics, we collaborate with economists, psychologists, uh, um, researcher in political studies, and uh, uh, on some our alumni that are uh, interested in Marxist uh, theory. Uh, we have uh, a laboratory for religious practice, a center for cultural policy research. Um, uh, we have uh, some uh, exceptional authors of decision-making methodology. And we have also a, a center of expertise in communication and humanities. And I'd like to um, take as a, uh, maybe more illustrative uh, example, the work of Moscow State uh, Center for Consciousness Studies. Uh, that is preparing every two years as international summer school in different parts of Russia, post-Soviet and uh, uh, foreign uh, places. Um, it uh, is a um, um, very um, uh, exceptional uh, project. Uh, is a format of intensive lectures and seminars with the participation, tutoring, I will say, of most distinguished world experts in the fields of uh, problem of consciousness, free will and moral responsibility, 
and personal identity. And the participants are also from all over the world. They are graduate students and young schools from Russia, uh, USA, China, Great Britain, Canada, Serbia, Sweden, Australia, Mexico, Switzerland, Finland, etc. So, uh, well, unfortunately, this year we have no summer school, uh, but uh, I hope that uh, next year we'll invite you to apply to this school. Uh, and uh, uh, we prepare a mobility program for this autumn and uh, there are courses uh, that we devoted in English. Uh, of course, we uh, propose Russian language, uh, foreign language, if you prefer. We have wonderful young alumni uh, making their PhD on uh, philosophy, but trying to practice um, to um, um, with courses uh, in foreign language, in Italian, Japanese, and so on. And uh, special courses uh, on cognitive studies of religion and Catholic theology. Uh, that's uh, it's the Department of Religion Studies. And uh, some courses on philosophy of mind. Um, some uh, post-continental philosophy and also that is dual with communication is a special authorized courses on Russians political image in USA and social and emotional intelligence uh, very top uh, problems uh, in the contemporary philosophy so we hope that you'll come to our faculty and you can uh, share with us uh, all our research, uh, all uh, our special uh, deep uh, uh, courses. And of course, um, this academic year is like no other. Uh, and that is true, uh, but uh, I am sure that uh, we can uh, uh, really um, um, be uh, able uh, to talk about philosophical uh, problem, no matter if we are here in person or, or remotely. And in this critical time, we are fortunate to be part of uh, MSU academic community. So, uh, Goodbye, and uh, I hope that you'll join us. Thank you very much, Anna, for your presentation. It was very interesting uh, to hear, to see how many different programs there are at uh, the Faculty of Philosophy. Uh, and uh, he, um, uh, yes, our next speaker is uh, Maria Ulyanova, uh, Faculty of Economics. Uh, I would like to say that Faculty of Economics is actually one of the largest faculties at uh, Moscow State University. And uh, I think in terms of exchange programs, it accepts and sends uh, the most of exchange students among all faculties of Lomonosov Moscow State University. So Maria, floor is yours, uh, please. Presentation, I can see it. Maybe. Okay, thank you, Olga, thank you very much. Good, uh, good day to all the participants today. Um, it's a pleasure for me to uh, present today our Faculty of Economics, which, as all Olga said, uh, one of the biggest faculties at uh, Lomonosov Moscow State University. And we also host um, quite uh, a big number of exchange students each uh, semester. Uh, in the normal times, usually, uh, about 30 to 40 students um, uh, every every semester. So I will tell you a few words about uh, Faculty of Economics. Uh, we are quite old. We were founded in 1941. Um, the major programs that we offered are uh, in the field of economics and in the field of management. So you, if you uh, decide to take part in an exchange program and visit us, you will be able to take courses in these two fields. 
and um, we are one of the leading educational centers of Russia in, in the field of economics and uh, management. Many of our alumni are taking really high positions in business as well as in governmental uh, entities. Um, we have about 2,000 undergraduate students, um, 600 graduate students and 400 uh, postgraduate students. So we offer education on three levels. Uh, about 40, oh, sorry, 400 professors and researchers uh, work at uh, our faculty. Uh, we have 22 chairs or departments uh, and uh, the same number of um, labs which uh, do a lot of research in different um, spheres. And if you join us, you will be able to also take part in one of the researches if you will be interested. So uh, which options are uh, available for exchange students? Uh, we uh, uh, accept students for uh, on all levels, bachelor uh, level, master level, and uh, PhD. Uh, for um, exchange students, uh, those who don't speak Russian, uh, we offer courses uh, taught in English. Uh, if an exchange student knows Russian, the, then the, uh, the choice would be much wider and uh, you will be able to uh, participate in the, in the regular courses uh, which are taught in Russian language. And uh, what we also emphasize for all of our exchange students, we always offer an opportunity to study Russian language because we, th we, we think it's very important and helps uh, our exchange students to uh, easier get around uh, Moscow and Russia and uh, well at least you will be able to read Russian letters which are quite uh, different from Latin letters. So um, all our students, uh, exchange students, um, when they come we assess their uh, level of Russian language and then we offer uh, Russian language courses for for different um, uh, levels. Yeah, so if you already know Russian, you, you can take more advanced course. Um, probably you heard already about uh, dormitories and uh, the Faculty of Economics is located on the campus uh, at uh, Leninsky Gore, where the, the main building is and uh, most of our exchange students, they either stay in the, in the dorms which are close to the main building or at the main building and it's about 10 to 15 minutes by, work, by walk um, from our uh, building, so quite, quite uh, quite near. A um, lot of student clubs, well you, you, you may join student clubs offered by university, but we also have some clubs of our own, uh, music, poetry, some business case competitions um, in field of finance, so many many different clubs which are devoted to hobbies but also um, has some professional orientation uh, in economics and business. And sports facilities are also available for our exchange students and our building uh, has even our own gym. So if uh, you would join us and would like to uh, make some sports, you don't even have to leave the building. So we have our own gym as well. Um, what are the requirements um, and the courses that you may attend. Uh, so as I said, we, uh, we offer courses for exchange students uh, in English language, taught in English, and uh, they offer it uh, during fall semester and spring semester. The fall semester usually um, starts uh, the 1st of September and uh, these courses end by, by the end of December. Spring semester starts in uh, beginning of February and, and um, will end in May. So those are the special schedule for courses uh, taught in English. Uh, if uh, the exchange students uh, would like to take course, regular courses taught in Russian, then um, those courses are scheduled according to the semesters, uh, starting at September ending in January, and the spring semester would start in February and um, end in June. So please uh, plan this time for, for your stay in Moscow. Um, for uh, if you are under if you graduate student, we have a slightly different uh, schedule. So our academic year divided uh, into three trimesters. Uh, first trimester starts in September, ends in December. The second starts in January, ends um, in March, and the third one 
starts beginning of April and end at the end of June. So uh, again, we have a low, uh, little bit different schedule for uh, graduate student. And uh, Russian language courses are also offered through the year. The requirements for being accepted for our uh, exchange program is uh, B, uh, the, 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 the language requirements is uh, the knowledge of English or Russian, depending on which courses you would like to take, is B2 for undergraduate students and C1 uh, for graduate students. And um, to become an exchange student uh, and uh, come to Faculty of Economics, you either have to be a student uh, from, the, from our partner universities, and in this case, um, we should uh, get nomination from, from your coordinators, from, from your university, uh, and the deadlines uh, would be for the fall semester, uh, May 15, and for the spring semester, it's October 15. Um, and after we get the nomination from uh, our partner university, then students are required to fill in the application form, which of course is sent to students, and the deadlines for students to fill in those forms are uh, June 1st of if you decide to visit us in fall semester and November 1st if you decide to come in spring. Uh, but um, for, for students who would like to study a semester or a year uh, at, most, at Faculty of Economics, but we don't have a partnership agreement with your university, you can come as a free mover. Uh, this is also possible. And still, we need to receive a um, um, confirmation letter from your university that your university supports uh, your study. Um, at Lomonosov Moscow State University and the deadlines are actually the same, yeah, uh, May 15 for the fall semester and October 15 for the spring semester. Um, and, um, uh, but, but uh, for free movers, uh, unfortunately, uh, you have to pay for uh, education at uh, uh, most of Moscow State University. So if you uh, do, uh, if you um, do all these requirements, then your application will be completed, and you will get invitation to um, to actually uh, come to Moscow and uh, start to study at the Faculty of Economics. Um, we also offer uh, business schools, uh, uh, sorry, summer schools. Uh, most of them are customized for our partner, uh, partners, for our partner universities. Uh, you may see we just recently we had the summer school for our Chinese partners and the, the topics are doing business in Russia. We have uh, summer schools in sustainable consumer behavior and um, some other um, topics. So, um, and the, the last uh, point, if uh, you decide to, to study at the Faculty of Economics and when you arrive, we uh, have a body program when all uh, our exchange students would be assigned a body from, from uh, Russian students uh, from the Faculty of Economics and uh, you will be met either uh, at the airport, yeah, if you arrive by airport or by, by train, or usually this is, this is plane, so somebody will meet you uh, on your arrival and will help you to uh, get your room at the dormitory and will, will help to get you around. And uh, then uh, this is a good possibility to become good friends uh, for the rest of your lives. So we are looking forward to meet you at the Faculty of Economics. Uh, this is really fun, not only to study, but also to stay at Moscow, as we have um, you know, a lot of uh, social activities available for our exchange students. So um, please join us, uh, here are our contacts. Uh, Victoria Grishina and uh, Jana Karatkova are our coordinators for exchange students, and they usually do all the best they can to make your stay as comfortable as possible. So welcome to Faculty of Economics. Thank you again, and we're looking for, for you at Moscow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria, for your presentation. That's really great to learn about the Faculty of Economics and all the opportunities it provides for exchange students. And uh, our 
Last but not least, the uh, speaker today is uh, Daria Denisova, Vice Dean for International Affairs at uh, Lomonosov Moscow State University Business School. Uh, business School also has extensive um, exchange programs uh, for um, with a variety of partners, uh, of its own partners and on the university level. So Daria, please, the floor is yours. Um, Thank you so much, Olga, for your introduction. Uh, hello, dear students. Uh, I'm really happy to be a part of this open day uh, organized by Lomonosov Moscow State University, specifically for exchange students. Uh, I'm here to give a short overview of another Moscow State University faculty, which is Business School. And uh, let me start with some figures characterizing the school. Uh, we are a relatively young faculty and constantly developing. This year we are celebrating our 20th anniversary. In these uh, 20 years, uh, over 3,500 students have graduated from the school from various programs. Over 150 companies uh, are business school partners contributing on a regular basis uh, to the development of the school. Not only they uh, take our students uh, uh, and offer work placements for them, but they also come into classes on a regular basis and uh, are ready to share their professional experience uh, with our students, which is really valuable for someone who decided to get a practical business education. We have over 45 agreements on international academic cooperation with business uh, schools and universities uh, worldwide. And we are working currently uh, on building new relationships to strengthen and diversify our international partners network. We are proud of our faculty who together with our students are the main asset of the school. Both with an academic background and professional experience, they are sharing their knowledge and expertise with students. As for our intake numbers, uh, annually we enroll around 200 students in all programs, which are five. Business school history goes back to 1989, when we were established as a part of the Faculty of Economics at Moscow State University, as a separate division to run postgraduate professional programs, which gradually developed in what we today call an MBA program. In 2001, uh, we declared um, Moscow State University Business School was declared a separate self-financed faculty of Moscow State University. And in the same year, our first master program was launched. In 2003, we had the first intake for Bachelor of Management program. And in 2007, we completed our program portfolio by launching uh, an executive MBA program for those managers and company owners who already have gained a solid experience in leadership and management, but still are eager to grow and to change. Uh, as for today, uh, we offer a full range of educational programs in the field of business and management. It's bachelor, master, executive programs, and also several corporate programs uh, developed for uh, the companies. From the very start, uh, the business school demonstrated strong commitment to internationalization. Important milestones of which were launching a double degree program uh, and master level with the University of St. Andrews in the United Kingdom and also getting two of our academic programs accredited by international accreditation agencies. As a part of the internationalization activities and our position in the international market, we also are a member of several international associations for business education, such as European Foundation for Management Development, Baltic Management Development Association, and many others. Of course, this also gives us a very strong motivation for taking further steps on strengthening and diversifying our partnerships with universities overseas. It's a challenging really to provide a full uh, picture of the faculty within just a short presentation. But if you ask me to name like three uh, main uh, features uh, characterizing the school, I would certainly name an international dimension and commitment to internationalization as one of them. Uh, since the school was designed to follow the best uh, business education practices worldwide, it is for that reason uh, very clear why international activities are so important for us. We prepare our 
our students to uh, for their further career in a globalized world uh, and it requires for them an ability to operate easily in multicultural settings for that reason our goal is to ensure that uh, all our students by the time of graduation have gained international experience whether it is a classical exchange program or a double degree program or a shorter option of a summer school or a winter school or taking a set of uh, domestic international activities which are a part of our internationalization at home strategy. So a variety of options are available for our local students. Uh, currently, our partner universities network comprises 46 foreign universities and business schools. Some of the schools are listed in these slides by region. It means the students from these partner schools will be your classmates if you decide to take an exchange option at our faculty. Normally, each semester we have from 20 to 30 exchange students uh, coming to study with us. To provide students with an opportunity to study in the business school, we offer a significant number of courses in English language uh, in our bachelor program in the third and fourth year of bachelor program. As for the master program, we currently do not offer that much courses. It's around five, six courses in English each semester. But if your home institution allows uh, to combine uh, courses from both master level and fourth year bachelor courses, then it could be an option for you because altogether you will be able to obtain 30 ECTS credit for a semester. Another distinctive feature is deep cooperation with the business world, which from the perspective of the exchange students gives you a chance to take uh, a practice of business course. It is a two or three week internship in one of the Russian or international companies based in Moscow. Normal training activities within this course include international market research, analysis of international documentation, implementing advertising and PR activities for the company, support of the international customers, development of strategic concepts for startups and sales analysis. This course uh, can be an additional value for you on top of your regular academic workloads and I think it can be interesting for those who can who want to to gain a sense of working in a, a Russian business enterprise. For those exchange students who are interested to improve their uh, Russian language skills we offer a Russian language for foreigners course which is five ECTS credits and you can get it on top of your regular workload of 30 ECTS credit per semester. And I think another distinctive feature of the school is its a strong corporate culture. And you will be able to get a sense of it while engaging with our local students. We have an international student committee who will be providing the full support for you, who will help you to adjust to Russian localities and organize a wide set of extracurricular activities that will also be an additional value for you. As you know, making friends and getting to know local country uh, is a main value of any exchange program. Unfortunately, we do not offer any academic scholarship for the students who come on exchange basis, but we do offer an accommodation which is really comfortable because it's just five minutes walk from the business school. All the essential information can be found on our website, uh, including the list of courses for both semester, courses syllabi, uh, visa information, medical insurance information, deadlines for application and nomination. Please check out. And with this, I would like to say that we will be really happy to welcome you for the semester or for the whole academic year as an exchange student at Lomonosov Moscow State University Business School. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Daria, for your presentation of the business school. That's really great. Uh, and uh, now I would like to uh, introduce uh, my colleagues, uh, our students, coordinators of body program, Dana Dmitrieva and uh, Dmitry Garohov. So Dana and Dmitry, uh, please. Uh, uh, I think uh, you already heard a lot about uh, student life at MSU, but Dana and Dmitry will give you a more detailed introduction and will tell about different activities and opportunities that a student uh, who comes to Moscow State University can have in terms of uh, making friends and participating in the different activities uh, for students. Please. 
So, Hello. hey guys, <laughs> we are really glad to see all of you here and I think we'll be even happier to see some of you personally here within the walls of our university. So first of all, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Dmitry and uh, I'm uh, the coordinator of our international student support system. Anna. My name is Dana and I'm also coordinator of the program. I'm happy to see you here today. So firstly, we'd like to tell you about our the, to tell you about the program of our presentation. Personally, I will tell you about our international student support system, then Dana. I will tell you about vibrant and bright student life in Moscow State University. And in the end, we organize some kind of QA session. So if you have any questions, you'll be very welcome. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, as you already know, our university is considered to be the best university in Russia and the most international one. Uh, at Moscow State University, you will find not only many excellent ideas, not only many excellent opportunities um, uh, for study and research, but also opportunities um, that will allow you to continue to develop your creative, athletic, organizational skills and talents. You will definitely meet new friends here. And there is no doubt, besides of unique knowledges and skills, the university will bring you the most positive impression and unforgettable experience to make you stay here as comfortable as, as possible and to make you feel more confident uh, in, your, in a new place. We have our MSU, um, MSU body, pro, body program at our university. So the first question is, what is MSU body program? Basically, body program is our international student support system, which helps our new foreign students to adjust to studying at the university and to life in Moscow. So who is the body then? So body usually, it's uh, a senior year, uh, volunteer students from our faculty and department. So it will be able to give you some useful information when you're preparing for exam or just to make you sure that everything is all right and you understand all the things in this university and clear, so. Buddy is your first friend in the university who will help you here from the very first day. Uh, he's a friend who will help you to join our community, to understand the structure of our university, and he will also guide you to as many opportunities. And of course, if it's necessary, but Buddy will give you some useful information when you are preparing for departure and even provide some assistance upon your arrival to Moscow. Now I'd like to clarify his role in order to give you a, the clear idea of uh, how our international student, uh, of international student uh, support system works. So although Moscow is returning to its normal life and we all can be within the walls of our university, many students uh, still continue studying using distance education technologies. Uh, regardless of which distance education platform is more preferred uh, in your department, your body will help you to learn how to use it and explain all the technical nuances of our education process today. Uh, that was the first point. Um, besides of that, our classes and lecture are practical. That is, I'm talking about seminars. At the same time, most of faculties have their own building. But I will explain to you how our class schedule works. He will help you navigate within the walls of our university, so you will never feel abandoned. Uh, I think the third point is the most interesting one. So naturally, our education system has its own specifics and the university has its own traditions and customs. Uh, your body, who already has experience uh, of studying here, will help you to adjust to a new place and share some practical tips for life on campus. Uh, if you have a hobby or do something uh, like extra professionally, uh, for example, if you dance or if you love sports, be sure you can continue to do that in Russia within the walls of our university. There are a lot of student clubs and communities here that you need our students according to their interests. Your body will certainly tell you about these resources and about vibrant student life at the university and in Moscow. And about all the life hacks, this is very important when you come to a new place and come to study new things. So, student help students. So, uh, your body will tell you about our libraries, about our bookshops, uh, about our study spaces, and having, having a study experience in your faculty. He will help you to find all the necessary study materials. Uh, if you've never been to Moscow before and uh, if you're worried, 
your body will definitely meet you in the Air Express train station in Moscow and help you to get to the dormitory. So don't worry about that. And if um, at the university you have a need of, to solve any organizational or household issues, he will advise you whom to contact. So when you come to our university, you will never feel alone because you'll find a reliable friend here who will help you with, with all the rising problems. You'll find a person who will help you to join our community, to diminish your culture shock and to adjust to studying in the university. He will also be your guide to the amazing student life that is available to everyone here. So the main question now is how can I actually find a body? That's quite easy. So firstly, you should explore our online portal for international students here. And the only thing you should do is just to find exchange and visiting students button. Click it and scroll the page down till you find the body help section. Just apply for your body and wait for the answer. So now I give the floor to my colleague Dana, who will tell you about the student life in our university and different opportunities available for our international students. So hello, once more, my name is Dana. As you have seen, the new body program is quite open and, very, and welcomes new students. And it's very easy to uh, get a body in our university. And now I will tell you about student life in MSU. Uh, MSU is a multicultural university, it provides all the opportunities for filling your potentials, creative, sports, scientific, and you will uh, feel you will not feel bored here. And um, all you have to do is just join student organizations, participate in events, and explore this vibrant student life at Moscow State University. First of all, sport. When you come to a new country, uh, it's very important to continue to do what I used to, to continue to do your uh, loved activities. And for some people, this is sport. Me, myself, I cannot live without running. So we have a lot of sections and, uh, and Moscow State University provides students with extensive opportunities for sports and physical education. We have sections, we have student sport clubs, building stadium in uh, uh, the main building. There is a huge, beautiful pool where you can keep fit. So you can just go to the side and um, learn about our sports facilities. Here you can see some of the examples, for example, MSU run team, they take part in uh, sport events, for example, marathon and half marathon. Yes, in Moscow and Newly there is half marathon uh, and uh, of course marathon, and this is a really great and inspirational activity. We have all the martial arts, we have basketball, so if you have any activity which you miss, you will not miss it here. Um, when you come to another country, there is, of course, potential for cultural experience. And um, in Moscow, we can go to museums and theaters. We have, we have MSU culture centers. I would like also to note that uh, in, um, in Moscow, there is more than 100 theaters, more than 400 museums. So you will uh, find all the interesting th things here in the capital of Russia. And uh, every year, interesting concerts and international festivals are held in Moscow. So um, Moscow cultural life is very, very bright and vibrant. So we definitely will not be bored. And of course, when you come to Russia, Russia we would like to explore our uh, colorful culture, and you will definitely can um, and you will definitely do this here. We have culture center, and our student organizations make every year special festivals. For example, Maslinitsa with Blini, you can taste it here, and you can know it here. Um, of course, if you're a man of science, if you're more interested in science, um, we have opportunities for science here. For example, Science Slam in Moscow, it's, I'm sure you know uh, that this is a very, very famous festival where student organization and students have some kind of science battle in 10 minutes. Uh, we uh, hold a um, unique science international festival every year in autumn. We can meet Nobel laureates when, when you can uh, communicate with other scientists and of course learn a lot of more information and meet new students. And uh, um, uh, if you want to present your own research, 
if you want to present your own invention or just tell about your uh, sphere, you can go to International Scientific Conference Lomonosov, which is uh, held uh, every year here at Moscow University, and that will be a unique experience. Of course, we have a lot of science school and research centers, so our science life in two is very, very bright and vibrant. Um, if you go to another country, of course, you understand that there is a lot of people from all over the world. And Moscow State University is a multicultural university, which is situated in the heart of multicultural city. Moscow, with its more than 10 million, 10 million uh, uh, mm -hmm. um provide a unique experience here. Uh, all talented multicultural people from all over the world meet, communicate, produce uh, interesting things, invent something. So you will be in the heart of this atmosphere. Of course, it, uh, we have some culture clubs um, where you can meet other people, meet our students, practice Russian language. Of course, you can learn Russian in Moscow State University. And uh, this is not as uh, difficult as uh, it seems to be. Uh, here, uh, you can uh, interact with other students. You can participate in multicultural events and even organize these events. You can have uh, language practice and so, so, so on. Um, we have developed a special plan of student activity for the next semester and uh, here you can see some kinds of other points uh adaptation sessions if you have any questions if you don't understand something or something seems unclear you can go to the session and become all the um, answers to your questions of course we uh, will help you to know sport events we will manage college clubs meetings student events and of course traveling in moscow is a uh, transport hub you can go to Siberia you can go to uh, the east to the west so we can organize uh, some special traveling things here for you and of course guided tours our students will help you to know Moscow better they will help you to um, know some special parts of Moscow for example about treasure pumps with uh, those uh, Bulgakov stories and uh, you will know all interesting things about Moscow and we will help you to do this these are some of uh, the uh, multicultural events in Moscow. The first is very recognizable, it's St. Patrick's Day. Um, I would say that in Moscow it's celebrated very, very brightly, so <laughs> all the city knows. Uh, I would like to see that thousands of people go around the street with all these flags and all these costumes. You can hear bagpipes, and this is very, very inspirational. And of course, this festival is uh, followed by a grand concert. And uh, this year, it is also going to be participating. Uh, and um, if you like um, these cultures, we have JFest that is held in Gorky Park. Uh, near the Garage Museum of Contemporary Art, where you can play Japan chess, you can meet uh, anime films, you can uh, watch comics, or just uh, by yourself a uh, couple of those uh, foxy things. So this is very, very uh, inspiring, and uh, you really can have a unique experience here at Moscow and here in Moscow State University. Here are some useful resources. Um, you can explore our online portal with this QR code that leads to our page. And if you still have any questions, we'll be happy to answer you through email. And please do not hesitate to contact us and ask uh, all things you would like to know. You'll be very welcome. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, if you have to know something, you can um, ask in the chat or just write um, our email post. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dana and Mitri. So guys, I think now you know everything about your student life and I hope uh, it was inspiring for you and it made you want to visit uh, Lomonosov Moscow State University even more. Um, so uh, we already have not so much time left. Actually, we are even four minutes uh, exceeding our planned time, but we would like to uh, answer a few questions that we received uh, through the chat on YouTube. Uh, and uh, so the first question is, uh, can exchange uh, students um, uh, take uh, Russian language classes in English? Uh, yes, certainly. Every faculty offers some Russian language classes for exchange students. 
Uh, sometimes uh, the classes are held at the faculty itself. Sometimes you will go to the faculty of philology, which offers a lot of uh, Russian language classes. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, the uh, language of instruction will be English, but it's not a lot of English language. We'll want you to immerse into a Russian language. So, uh, but our um, teachers are very professional. They have huge experience with uh, working with uh, students from almost uh, beginner level of Russian to the more advanced levels. So don't hesitate and we do advise you to use this opportunity and take a Russian language course while you are here in Russia. Uh, so uh, a lot of questions that we receive uh, on our emails and in the chat are about the mode of teaching in the next semester. Is it gonna be online or offline? Um, I will explain a little bit about the position um, of the Russian government uh, here uh, that um, at the moment we have this uh, law where there is a list of countries. Uh, citizens of these countries can enter Russia and have a Russian visa. Uh, and uh, this list is being updated almost every month. Uh, there are more and more countries in the list now, so we believe that uh, there will be more opportunities for offline exchange programs in the fall. We do believe that all our students will be able to visit our, us and to study in person. Uh, so please, uh, uh, you know, check the list. Uh, we update this list on our website for international students, even in uh, .msu.ru. Uh, we post a list of the countries uh, which are allowed for entrance. But even if uh, your country is not in the list by September and you understand you're not able to come in person, our faculties provide opportunities for a virtual exchange. Uh, this is also possible, but we will see. I think uh, by August, we will already understand which mode for which country we can offer. Um, there is a question about a uh, possibility to reserve a single room in the dorm. Uh, well, it depends. Uh, if you uh, are an exchange student of our partner university, which has a university level agreement with MSU, for example, Trinity College, Bologna University, there are many universities which have inter-university agreements then you will be able to, uh, for sure, we can guarantee that you will be provided with a room uh, at uh, our main building, at the dormitory, and most of the rooms there are for single rooms for one person. Uh, if you're coming as a free mover, uh, or if you're coming uh, under a faculty level agreement, uh, then the faculty will assign a room for you, and this can be a room at uh, another dorm might be main building, might be another uh, dorm. And then uh, the faculty will inform you about uh, the types of rooms that they can provide for you. Uh, there is a question about students with dual citizenship. Uh, yes, we do have um, often students who hold, for example, Russian citizenship and uh, second, which will be European uh, citizenship. And in this case, we, uh, of course, it's you can come as an exchange student no matter what citizenship you have. So even if you have Russian passport, you can enter as an exchange student, it's okay. And this is actually easier for you because you do not need to apply for a visa in this case. Same for students uh, from CIS countries and other countries that are visa free. Uh, so please, uh, yes, use this opportunity it's much easier for you to enter the country without visa. Uh, there is a question about uh, CV. Am I supposed to write my CV in English or in Russian? Uh, it depends uh, on which courses you plan to take, uh, but uh, the idea would be to uh, have two pages, one page in English, one page in Russian, so that you can demonstrate your uh, level of Russian language. Uh, uh, yes, and we received uh, some questions about Christmas uh, period because, uh, as you know, our semester is uh, longer than semester in uh, some European universities because we celebrate Christmas on Orthodox Christmas is 11th January. So we have usually a long vacation period between 1st January and uh, like 7th, 8th January. Uh, so yes, 
during the Christmas period, there can be some exams and tests. Uh, you need to be in very close contact with uh, the faculty where you will be studying to learn about the schedule, to learn about the mode of exams, whether they're online or offline, and based on that, make a decision if you can go or cannot go. We uh, ask you not to plan it very much in advance, because uh, there is a possibility that there will be some exams and uh, tests. Um, and uh, we received a question about the Penny Club. Uh, and I believe that we do, we do have some dancing clubs for sure. And uh, I believe that uh, you can do belly dancing, of course. Uh, and of course, uh, Russia provides great opportunities to attend to very good performances in Bali that you can also do. So uh, please contact our body coordinators and they will find the proper club for you if you are into Bali. Um, yes, I believe that we asked, answered most of the questions that we received in the chat. Um, and um, I would like to thank you all very much for visiting us today, uh, for spending two hours on this nice Sunday, uh, uh, listening to us, uh, listening to our presentations. And uh, I hope that uh, you learned a lot of new things about uh, Lomonosov Moscow State University, our programs, our opportunities for exchange students, our vibrant student life, and uh, our body program. So uh, please uh, don't hesitate to write us anytime about any questions that you have, uh, be in touch with us, and don't forget to apply in time. All the information about application, uh, all the instructions are on our portal. Uh, so uh, please uh, stay tuned, uh, visit our portal. We'll be posting all the updates about summer schools, about some other opportunities that you have uh at msu and we'll be in touch and of course we're looking forward to seeing all of you in moscow state university in the next academic year um, have a nice weekend and bye bye hope to see you again at lomonosov moscow state